So if you're like us, you've probably seen the getaway house ads on Instagram. I know you, that's where you saw them, right? Sorry, I didn't know they were starting. <laughs> yeah, you scroll and you see the big windows just like looking out into nature in the middle of nowhere. Looks so peaceful. It really does beg the question though, like is it too good to be true? Well, we're here to tell you it's not. It's not. It's actually pretty nice. So right when you drive up, um, you're driving up to a, there's like a bunch of them all kind of in this little area and you drive up and you find yours and we had friends that had went there before. Yeah, we had some friends that had gone before and they kind of mentioned that the other cabins were close to yours, but when we drove up, I definitely felt like it was very private. You have your own um, fireplace and it, it seems secluded from the other cabins to me. It, it's like your own little space. Um, they had everything that you would need there. So right when you walk in, the first thing you see is the massive window with the bed right in it. You have this small little fridge, mm -hmm. cute quaint little kitchen, toilet shower. There's also a cute bookshelf with like little things you can read while you unplug. They have a box for your cell phone so you can just really like go off the grid. We didn't do that, but next time. Next time we'll definitely go and do the full unplug, lock our cell phones away. Um, mm. It's definitely a spot that we'll go back to. They have these getaway houses all over the United States. Uh, Texas, California, California, New York, and they're all in nature just outside of big cities. So this one that we went to was Atlanta's getaway house and it was about two hours just outside of Atlanta. Where you are, it's probably like a good 30 minutes or less from a bunch of wineries and uh, the Appalachian Trail itself because it starts probably not, not far from there at all. Yeah. So that's what we did. Yeah, we got there on Friday, made some dinner, then woke up and did a short hike to Preacher's Rock on Saturday morning. It was beautiful. Um, and then we did a winery and had lunch there. Yeah, all within a 30 minute drive. So is it too good to be true for Instagram? It may be smaller than you may think because the windows are huge, but I would still say it's totally worth it. So we thought the same thing, and so, like, subscribe. If you want to see more places, make sure you give this a big thumbs up. And share our video. I would say the bed was very comfortable. That's a plus.